Molality is defined as the moles of solute or the amount of solute in moles divided by the kilogram or kilograms of solvent. It's given the lowercase symbol m. And do not get it confused with molarity. Molarity is a capital M, and that's moles of solute for every liter of solution. So again, molality is the number of moles of your solute for every, in this case, if it was defined as a 0.75 molal potassium iodide solution, per kilogram of solvent. And it's typical that water is our solvent. In fact, in my little, my little lab demonstration, that will be our solvent is water. So if you see 0.75 molal potassium iodide, what that means is you have 0.75 moles of potassium iodide, which is gonna be the solute, it's a solid, that'll be dissolved into one kilogram of our solvent. In this case, it would be water. All right, so that's the definition in our first example. Let's move on to a practice problem. And after I do this practice problem, I will make the solution using the lab equipment I have available. Once that's done, we will do a, a little harder problem, which is this one, and we'll solve for a different kind of variable, which is how many grams of the solute are in a certain mass of solution. So that one's a little harder. Well, let's get started with kind of a standard problem and let's work it first before we even make the solution. So if we wanna find the molality of a solution that has seven grams of calcium chloride solid dissolved in 50 milliliters of water, we have a couple things going on first. First off, we have to know that calcium chloride is CaCl2. And then that solid has a molar mass or molecular weight of 110.98 grams per mole. Next, if I wanna solve for the molality, don't forget, again, that's the number of moles of our solute, and in this case, it's gonna be our calcium chloride, divided by the kilograms of our solvent. And we'll be putting a number in the numerator and the denominator because we have 50 milliliters, which is definitely not a kilogram of water. But let's first solve for the moles. So we know that we want to have um, moles in the numerator. So we're gonna first find what that is. So we have seven grams of calcium chloride. And I'm gonna divide that by 110.98 grams if I had one mole, and that's again for the calcium chloride. So if you want to do a number unit label. And if you grab your calculator, what we're doing is we're trying to find this small mole amount because we have only seven, and it's 110.98 for one mole. So we get 0 0.0630, and I'll just keep the seven, carrying a few extra sig figs for sure. So that's my moles of calcium chloride. Now, I need to find the kilograms of my solvent. So I have 50 milliliters, and at room temperature, it's kind of a common fact that for every one mil, water weighs about one gram. So that's the density of water right there that I'm using. And at room temperature, one mil equals about one gram. And then I need to turn that into kilograms, so then I need to take 1,000 grams is one kilogram. So when I get to this point, I get 0 0.05, and if I keep those extra zeros for the significant figures, uh, the solvent, I have its kilogram amount. So now what I need to do is just solve for my final answer. I'm just gonna sneak, sneak it right here. So I'm gonna take my 0 0.063, and then you can put the 0 0.7. I'm just gonna put the, just to save room, I need to make sure it fits on here. And then I'll divide that by 0 0.05, and then you really should have two zeros, but again, I'm running out of room, and then that's the kilograms. All right, so what you wanna do next is say, okay, I have my moles, which is that. I'm gonna divide up by my, my uh, kilograms, which is the 0 0.05, and I get 1.26, et cetera. But with significant figures, I can only keep two because of my initial mass. And you'll see that with the balance that I'm using, so I can really only report this to uh, two sig figs. So there's my final answer there of the molality, or we'd say it's a 1.3 molal solution of calcium chloride. So I'm gonna do quick before I do the next practice problem is I'm just going to make this solution so you can sort of see how it kind of happens. 
and a little bit about this density fact because I am at about room temperature right here. All right, so here's the next problem. I'm just going to show up for just a second, and that'll be at the end of the video. But I'm going to make this solution before I even get to that problem. So I'm going to grab my balance, and the balance that I have only reads to that one decimal place. I did that for significant figures. I'm going to use um, something called like a pickle crisp. It's got calcium chloride. You can see right there in the label. So you can make this solution at home. I'm gonna put my weighing boat on the balance and I'm gonna get that seven grams that I said I was going to use. And it's almost an entire um, weighing boat full. So I'm just gonna kind of guess here because I've done this already and I practiced. Alrighty, almost there. And this is only because I wanted to have exactly seven like I did in the problem. A little bit more. More granules here of our little calcium chloride. And there we go. And then that little one, I'm not gonna count, I just kind of push it off the balance. All right, so I'm a little bit higher, that's okay. So the next thing would be, okay, so just say that that was seven. Maybe it was that piece right there that we didn't need. The next thing I'm gonna do is just try to prove to you again the density of water is about one gram per mil at room temperature. So I just have a, a 500 mil graduated cylinder here. Or not 500, sorry, 50. Sorry, 50 mil grad cylinder. Just 50, if I was 500, it'd be way bigger than this. And then I'm just gonna kind of pipette to the meniscus level to get 50 right on. All right, a little bit more. And that looks pretty good for eye level. Um, so it's pretty close um, to one gram per mil. In fact, kind of have it almost right on with this balance. And then what I'm going to do is just kind of double check because when you're making so this solution, you wouldn't need a volumetric flask. I can use anything to stir it. So I'm just going to use an Erlenmeyer flask. What I'm going to do is just pour this into this container. Just because this will help, I think, with the next practice problem. So there's my 50... Uh, grams, which would be 0 0.050 kilograms. And then I'm just gonna add in my calcium chloride as slowly as I can here without spilling any. And then this is how I would make that 1.3 um, molar, not molar, so molal solution. And I'm just gonna kind of stir it a little bit and set it right back on the balance. And there you can see, again, that we kind of have that conservation of mass. So my total mass of the whole solution is around 57. And again, I've made this, I'm just gonna kind of pull this back on and kind of put this underneath. Let's set this out for a second, just to make sure I got all the words right, because it's sometimes easy to mistakenly say. So I made a 1.3 molal calcium chloride solution, all right? And again, you're seeing that the conservation of mass makes it 57. Okay, so let's move on to our second practice problem. I'm going to take a look at it and give it a shot first. It is a little harder. All right, so let's go through the answer to this one. So what we're going to try to find is the mass of the solute that we placed into a solution, but we know the total mass of the solution is 200 grams. So what would that sort of look like? So if I go back to here... Let me place a, uh, a beaker on this balance and push t press tear. So let's say this was my magnesium nitrate solution and I had 200 grams of it. I'm just gonna kind of get try to get right onto 200 grams here. Oop, a little over. I'm just gonna pour some of that out. A little bit more. Oh, I'm past it, hang on. <laughs> Gonna pipette some of it onto there instead here. Okay, close enough. So let's say I have 200 grams of this magnesium nitrate solution. What I'm trying to find out is it's already made. What's the mass of the magnesium nitrate that went into this solution? So that's what I'm trying to find out in this question. All right, so here's the answer. So first off, we have to find the you know chemical formula for magnesium nitrate or write it correctly, and then the molar mass. We know we want to have 0.85 molal, so that means 0.85 moles for every one kilogram of water, or for a thousand grams. Then we're going to use that molar mass to find the mass that I would have if I made 
1,000 grams dissolve with it or one kilogram of water dissolve with it. So I kind of wrote a sentence here. If we have 126 grams in 1,000 grams of water, the mass of that solution, as you saw from the previous little you know, lab demonstration, would be 1,126. So then what I did was our question wanted to know if I made 200 grams or I had 200 grams of the whole solution, I then kind of turned this into a little conversion factor that there'd be 126 in 1,126. And I found that the mass of that would be 22 grams of magnesium nitrate. All right, so I hope that helped um, kind of go through some molality. This one's a little bit harder. Um, there was the original prompt, and then here was our first problem that we did together. Kind of more standard with that one. And then we started with what's the definition of molality and just a simple little conversion from just what it was listed to actually what the um, you know conversion would look like with 0.75 moles over kilograms. All right, so I hope this video helped you, chemists.